Hi guys, my name is Fabi and today I'm going to give you 5 tips as to how to choose where you want to go study abroad. As you know, I'm right now on my study abroad journey. I've, I'm currently in Barcelona. I've been here for about three, two, two, three weeks. So I wanted to dedicate a whole series about the whole process because there's a lot that I've learned and I kind of want to give you guys the tools if you guys want to do this as well. I think it will be something that's going to be incredibly rewarding and I think if you can do it, you should try to do it as well. The first thing I would consider when it comes to choosing where you want to study abroad would be the culture of where you want to go to. So think of your own culture and think of the culture of the places you're thinking of going. One thing about studying abroad is having the ability to live in that place and if it's too big of a culture shock, it's going to affect how well you do in school while you're there, how much you enjoy where you are. So I would try to like choose a place that's not 100% different from where you are, but also not exactly the same. For example, I decided to go to Barcelona because being Hispanic, the Spanish lifestyle is similar to the Latin li lifestyle, especially where you live in Venezuela, because we have a big, big, big Spanish community and because it's more of a city, it's more modern, it's more moved, it's not like a place like Sevilla or, uh, or Vigo where it's more uh, slowed down, it's not as electric, it's not as uh, international, whereas Barcelona is considered sort of like a New York of Europe. So I really enjoy that aspect of it. And another thing would be to not choose uh, something that's exactly to like where you're from because that just kind of loses the fun of it. So for example, at one of the meetings for the study abroad program, uh, one of the girls, I heard her talking, she had a Chilean accent and she was going to Santiago. Now, of course, she probably like missed home. Maybe she had never been to Ch Chile, I don't know. But for me, I wouldn't choose a place that was that similar to what I know. Um, I was also offered to go to Santiago, that was one of the choices in the general um, options but I, I decided that I think what was best for me was somewhere I could get away but also still be connected to what I know. Another important aspect is the language. So a lot of programs, if you're from the US, will have classes in English um, but if you don't speak another language other than English, it's going to be hard for you to move around because even though everyone can or a lot of people are going to understand and speak English where you're going you're not going to be able to communicate fully with everyone and there's always going to be a language barrier so if you speak two languages maybe choose your second language that way you can uh, enhance it maybe choose uh, a language that's similar to one of the languages you know so you can learn it so for example for me being in Barcelona even though they speak Spanish here they also speak Catalan and Catalan is a big 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 part of the culture here and it's a mixture between French and Spanish. So I understand a lot of it, I can decipher a good chunk of it, but I don't understand it fully and I know I want to learn how to speak it and it's going to take me a step closer to learning how to speak French because it's sort of a an in-between the two, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Another thing is the distance there's going to be between you and where you're going. So for me, even though Spain is an eight hour flight from uh, Miami, I know I wouldn't be able to do something like Philippines or Australia or China because I don't want to be a whole day away from my family. Um, it, there it makes no difference if it, in case of an emergency it's just as hard but it was just a, a psychological thing for me where I didn't want to be that far away. Also because I do have family in Barcelona and in other parts of Spain it's easier for me to be connected, but I wouldn't want to have that distance where, for example, making communication would be a lot harder, whereas um, where I am, there's only a six hour difference, so it's a lot easier to get in contact with my family. I think the most important one, which I don't put at the top of the list, because for me, it'll either cross out completely options or it will make them available to you, is the program and your major. So for example, I my majors are English and Spanish. So it would make no sense for me to go study in Germany, for example, because yeah, I can learn English, I can learn uh, Spanish literature there, but it's not going to be as in-depth as it will be here. So for example, one of the things I'm nervous about is that I haven't gone to school in Spanish full-time in eight years since I moved from Venezuela. So I wonder how hard it's going to be for me, even though I've been doing similar things in English, to do it in the same level as I'm doing it in English, but in Spanish. Um, but if you're doing like something like engineering or, 
architecture or um, medicine, it depends a lot where you want to go. I think choose somewhere where it's like innovative, so like if you're an engineering major, maybe go to Japan, and if you're like an architecture major, come to Barcelona, something like that. Um, I think it, it's going to enhance the experience because it, it's like being an actor and doing an internship in LA. It's like getting a glimpse of the world you want. Um, maybe not the one you're going to have, but something that's like the ultimate goal for you. And when it comes to the program, of course, if it's not offered where you want to go, there's nothing you can do. Maybe your school has a choice. For example, I know at FIU, they let us uh, get the program and then you have you get you can get it approved by the school. Uh, but I don't know if every school has it that way. I know FIU has a lot. A lot, a lot of international contacts, that's sort of the whole thing. Um, so it depends on your school if you can, you know, maybe bring a curriculum from another university that they don't offer and be like, hey, can I do this? Can I maybe do this? I don't know. But lastly, for me, the what I found to be the most important one was how you feel and what you can get out of the place you're in. So in 2013, my parents wanted to take us on a trip to Europe and that was our first time in Europe. And I already kind of had in the back of my head, you know, I want to study abroad, maybe London, um, because I was like really obsessed with um, British culture. I still love it. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to get to meet London. I'm going to be so excited, blah, blah, blah. I, I already love Barcelona because I love the soccer team. So I had like, a, like, I want to see it, but I had less of a clue of what Barcelona was like than I did London. And so I think that trip really helped me sort of solidify that I wanted to come to Barcelona instead of London because the life, I just liked the life better and how people lived their life, the activities there were. Um, I think the arts and the architecture and everything, sort of the vibe of Barcelona fit me a lot better than London. And I think, you know, maybe you don't Obviously not everyone, barely anyone's gonna have the chance to maybe travel and see where they want to go before you get to study abroad. But I would do my re do your research, look at the activities there are, look at the museums, the how close it is to other places. I think it's really important for you to find a place where you feel yourself living there happily because I think that was one of the, the things for me and that I still feel about Barcelona is that every time I go to the city, which is about 45 minutes to half an hour on a train ride, I love getting there and I love that I could walk around and move around as like much as I please without much, you know, hassle. I feel like it's a place that's safe. You know, it's just a place that feels alive and I really, really like that about this place. So I would, I would think of like where you want to be, maybe you want to be somewhere more calm. I have a friend, for example, she loves to, to party, she's in that sugar daddy hype. So she decided to go to the south of France. Why? Because it's a half hour from Monaco. And what, what is there in Monaco but money and people with casinos? So she was like, you know, I'm just going to go to the south of France and get a sugar daddy. So, you know, it's whatever you need. Think about what you want, think about the lifestyle you want while you're away, and try to find a place that gives you that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you want to see about studying abroad, what other tips and tricks you would like to see. It doesn't have to be academic, it can be, you know, just general life, whatever. I'll make it work. So make sure to like, subscribe, and all that other YouTube bullshit. I will see you guys next time. Bye!